So the next one we're going to go into is once you've got your temperature showing and everything else is running fine, the next one is going to be the snap disk. So again, the lights, the, the controller's on, the temperature is reading 140, let's say, and um, the fan indicator light on the control panel or the ETC board is showing fans on, but the fans aren't engaging. One is that you just have to hit reset or hit the set button once to reset it and that'll engage it again. Once the stove drops below 140 degrees or so, the stove turns off automatically. And it does that to assume that it's run out of wood, therefore it just turns off the fans. So when you come out to the unit and you notice there's no wood in it, hit set is the first thing you do. That should usually just jumpstart those fans, put more wood in, you're good to go. Second one is your snap disc. The snap disc is a little device that sits in the very back of the wood furnace also right above the temperature probe. This one will be about a foot and a half, 18 inches higher, the snap disc, over the temperature probe. Now these have 110 volt wires running to the back of this one. It has two wires, a white and a black, disappearing in the insulation, which snaps is a spade connector to the snap disc. The snap disc mission is that if the unit gets over 190 degrees, it activates this, turns off the power. That means the stove is overheating, something's gone wrong, therefore shut down the fans, shut down everything. That's the purpose of this. Now, if the snap disc gets triggered and you're not there to see it, a lot of people call me and say, hey, my stove's at 155 degrees, the fans aren't turning on, because this doesn't re-engage until about 150 degrees. So the stove has to drop below 150 degrees for the snap disc to deactivate and allow the unit and fans to turn back on. So if you let it drop to about 145 before you start considering it if it's a snap disc, because the snap disc might not engage. If you think it's a snap disc and you think that's the problem, simple solution is pull off the two spade connectors, put a jumper wire between those two, and that bypasses the snap disc. And if the fans turn on, you know it's a snap disc, okay? Snap discs are very cheap and they can go bad. Simple fix, a couple screws into the back of the steel, spade connection, hook it back up, you're done. Now, some of the newer Woodmasters use two of these. One is where I just described in the back disappearing in the insulation, and there's another one that's jumped off of this one to the back rear fan of the larger unit, the 5500. The snap disc mounts on the intake by the fan in the back of the unit, and that's to prevent that if the fan in the back stopped working, the air blowing through the back won't burn up the back of the fan. So if the fan stops spinning, that protects the fan in the back. So there's two of these on the newer 55s, okay? But if you bypass this one, you bypass that other one um, on the 5500. So just look at that. That's all it does, okay? Simple solution. Now, if both those things don't fix it, the only other thing it can be is that people were, or someone, including yourself, was messing around with the control panel trying to program it. This is a pretty big problem because a lot of people want to see what the stove can do, what kind of settings are in here and everything else. The basic things that you should be messing with the control panel is the temperature increases outside, you want to bring the temperature of the boiler down. So if it becomes 50 or 60 degrees, you want to bring the temperature not from 180, you want to bring it down to 170 or 160, nothing lower than 150. So how you do that, just to bring the temp water temperature down, and here is a simple uh, picture that i kind of drawn here, the control panel, um, which is kind of seen here. And in this case, you just hit the set button for three seconds, one, two, three. Now, when that happens, the temperature of the water goes away. So let's say the temperature is at 178. So I hit the set button for three seconds and 170 shows up. That means my water temperature is set or my furnace is set to engage at 170. So when I do that and then I, it'll, it'll show the, the temperature of uh, the set point and then you use the up or down arrow to set it and then you're going to hit the set button one more time and it'll flash three times. Let's say you bring it up to 175. It'll flash three times, letting you know it's set for 175. Then it returns to the water temperature inside the boiler. Now, what people do is they start messing around with the other settings that are deeper in the control panel. These control panels were designed to run refrigeration systems and all sorts of other things, and they have a lot of settings. 
but the most common problem is is that people start messing with the HY and the all settings. And how do you get to them? And I'm going to kind of go right to the picture here. To get to the HY setting, people, you have to hit the set button and the down arrow for a period of time. Then what will happen where this temperature comes up, the HY emblem will show up. Now, if you hit the H, if you hit the set button one more time, the differential, now that is the differential of where the stove turns on and off. So let's say the differential is five. Okay, so if it's five, that means a five degree differential. So if it's set to 170, that means the stove will turn on at 165 and turn off at 170. That's what that means. That's that five degree differential. If you had a 10 degree differential, that means the stove will turn on at 160 and turn off at 170. Okay, so you can adjust your differential uh, anywhere from five to 15 to 20 degrees. I do not recommend 20 or 15. My two favorite numbers are five and 10. From the factory, it comes 10. Okay, I like five because it gets the unit, it burns a little bit hotter for me in my application. So you set your differential, and then again, to lock it in, you hit the set button again, and it'll flash. And what'll happen then, it'll read all. Now you don't mess with it if that's all you're playing with at this point. 30 seconds out and you see all, A-L-L. -L. Wait 30 seconds and it'll go back to the temperature and you're done. Stop right there. However, if you decide to mess with the differential and you hit set and it goes to all, and you hit set button one more time, it goes into a low temperature alarm or LA. Now LA you'll probably see on your on your Windmasters and that means low alarm. What that means and what that was originally set for is that when people have refrigeration systems they will have a leave a door open and the low alarm will be set and it sets off an alarm um, for the refrigeration systems. But what the low alarm is doing for us is that that is when the temperature and you run out of wood it drops to a certain temperature then it shuts off the unit. Okay now a lot of people bump that up to 160 or 170, which kind of defeats this temperature that is set to, so the unit and the fans never turn on. So, if you're still with me, and I know this is getting complicated, but try to bear with me. Once you get to all, you hit set, and the low alarm will come on. Setting. That'll just show a number, okay? Get it down to 120 or 140. Okay, that's telling you that the only time that low alarm will engage is when that temperature of that water in that boiler is 120 or 140 degrees. That means you've run out of wood and to shut it off, shut off the boiler and the fans. That's basically it for the wood master and any of the problems that it could be. If there's something else besides that, you've got to look at your fans or your solenoids or anything or short. But besides that, there's really not much that can go wrong with the Woodmaster. It's a very good product. It's very simple and easy. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you need help, you can always, always call us at Alternative Heating and Supplies, and we'll be glad to try to help you. Have a great day, and check out our new website. We've just put it up, and uh, we're, we're advertising a lot of new brands and products because of the industry is being hurt by the... The, the new EPA regulations, and hopefully they'll be going away soon. But check us out, and um, if you don't see what you need, pick up the phone and call us. We probably have it, just haven't gotten around to putting it up on the website, or maybe we just don't know, and we can add it to the website for you. Have a wonderful day.